Hi, welcome to my video. In it, I'm going to give you a very quick demonstration of how a smart DNS service works uh, using a computer, say Windows 7 PC. Um, it's quite easy to use. Um, to demonstrate, I'll show you how I can't access something and then I'll enable the smart DNS and we'll see if it helps. Um, smart DNS services, probably as you know, is used to access um, content that's restricted by uh, location. So this example, I'm going to show you Hulu. Uh, I'm in the UK currently. I can't watch Hulu anymore because um, it's blocked to anybody who's outside the USA. Um, if I try and watch something, I'll get this message. Um, we're sorry, currently our video library can only be streamed within the United States. Uh, loads of American sites like that, most of the big media sites. <coughs> Excuse me. And in the uh, UK, it works the same, but it's it's opposite. It, it blocks anybody beside outside the UK. Uh, most European countries, the the big media sites or TV channels there do the same. You can only watch them in the country they're broadcasting. It's a bit of a pain. Okay, so we get that message. I get blocked because I'm in the UK. Uh, what I'm going to do is enable Smart DNS. It's um, quite easy to do. Uh, basically. You're um, going in and changing one um, network setting. Okay. Uh, now, depending on what you're doing, whether you're using a Mac, a VPN, uh, um, a tablet, or doing it onto a um, games console, it'll vary. But this is Windows 7. It might be in a slightly different place for you. You go to local area connection. And I go to properties. And I'm looking down for internet protocol version Four, TCP IPv4, you should see that in your connections. Click Properties. Uh, here you can see we've got our um, IP address. That's my internal IP address. Um, my subnet mask, my default gateway, that's the uh, IP address of my router. Uh, all this is internal. I've got an external IP address, which is separate. Okay. Um, and at the moment, I've got my router set as a DNS, to forward DNS request. I'm going to change that. I'm going to Put in the number of the smart DNS service I use. And as long as I've enabled it on their website, which I have, you'll have to enable your own v um, IP uh, via a website. It's just point and click, basically. I'm going to OK that, close it, close it, and close it. Now, occasionally you have to... Um, reboot or do something called flush DNS, but it, it doesn't happen very often. So I'm going to try it without. So I've just reset that. We're going to go back to the Hulu and see if my smart DNS service, you should see a link somewhere appearing as well. There's a 14 day trial on it at the moment. So you can try it absolutely free and find out how it works. And if it's worth, worth paying for, for you. Um, right. Okay. I'm going to Hulu. So Hulu. What did I watch last time? I tried to watch Top Chef. So I'll try again now. Um, the Smart DNS doesn't channel all your um, connection like um, like a VPN or a proxy. It just filters specific little parts of the connection to hide your location. Uh, and let me try and watch with this one. Uh, Smart DNS is enabled now and you'll see I won't get um, the error message saying it's in the UK. I will obviously have to watch the adverts and then it should start streaming now. Here's the adverts and then I'll be able to watch the show. That's just by enabling my smart DNS service. So check the link, click on it and you'll find a link to take you through to a free 14 day trial. So at the very worst you can use it for free for 14 days and um, watch some stuff in other countries. It just to remind you, it also works the other way around. So if you're outside the UK and want to watch BBC, want to watch something like Canadian TV um, from the US, or anyway, vice versa, it basically rips down all these blocks and walls. Okay, thanks for listening, and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, um, pop them in the uh, comments and I'll try and answer them. Okay, thank you, and bye-bye.